Hello. So I am going to bake a cake for my grandfather's birthday um, in a couple days. And I only have time to bake the cake tonight and then ice and decorate it tomorrow for his birthday the following day. Um, so I thought I would do a video and just, um, I don't know, show this sort of boxed cake mix hack that I use. Um, you can find different versions of it online, but this is the one that I like to use. It's a hack to make a boxed cake mix taste like a bakery cake. So um, it's really, really good. I've done this several times. So what you need is a boxed cake mix, your favorite one. I chose French vanilla this time. And what you're going to do is follow the directions on the back of the box, except for you're going to replace your water with milk. You're going to replace your oil with melted butter times two. So this is a half a cup of oil. Um, so instead of oil, I'm going to use one cup of melted butter. Then the recipe on the back of the box calls for three eggs. You will want to either add one or two additional eggs, depending on how rich you want the cake to be. So I'm going to actually add two extra eggs because these are from my chickens, young chickens that lay eggs that are probably on the smaller side than um, the larger side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add five. Then the other thing that I like to do is also add a box of pudding mix. This helps it make a little more, make it a little more rich and decadent. So I am going to use a French vanilla pudding mix, instant pudding mix, because I'm using the French vanilla cake mix. Then what I'm going to do tomorrow, which I'll add on to this video, is make a raspberry flavored icing. So I'm going to have French vanilla cake with raspberry icing. All right, so I will get this butter into the microwave. Get my bowl here. Alright, so I have my prepared cake mix into the bowl. It's my melted butter. I'm going to go ahead and add my pudding. And then add my eggs. I uh, will add them one, of, one at a time just to make sure I don't include any shells. All right, no shells. Good. Instead of one cup of water, I'm going to add one cup of milk. And then I have my one cup of but one cup of melted butter that is replacing the half a cup of oil. You want to make sure your butter is not too warm. You don't want to scramble the eggs. All right, now I will blend it up with my hand blender. All right, I got them all 
loaded up and ready to go, equal amounts. So I'm putting them in a preheated 325 degree oven, just like the box says for darker nonstick pans. And I'm going to bake them for 24 to 29 minutes because I'm using two nine inch round pans. Now you wanna make sure to not undercook these cakes because they are um, very moist and very rich. So um, undercooking them will cause you issues definitely when you go to try and ice them. I've done it before. So learn from my mistakes and use your toothpick to test for doneness. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven and we'll see how they turn out. They're done. They ended up going 28 minutes. They're starting to deflate a little bit, which I'm okay with, so I don't have to cut as much off the top to make them even. Um, but they're looking pretty good. So. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm off of work. I have all of the chicken chores done and all of the pet chores done, and now I am going to get ready and ice this cake. So, all right. So, like I said, I have my just simple buttercream frosting recipe all combined here but I have not added any extract yet so so I want to keep the majority of this uh, vanilla buttercream but I want to take out a portion to make some um, raspberry buttercream so I have on this side vanilla buttercream just plain vanilla buttercream for the outside of the cake and then I have this right here which is raspberry buttercream uh, that I basically just substituted vanilla extract with raspberry extract and then added some um, raspberry preserves I don't even know if you can see the difference in color but it is a little bit pink so you will know that it is raspberry strawberry um, a berry flavor so this is for the filling in between the two layers so I can't even tell you the recipe because I went back and forth um, the raspberry recipe got a little thin on me so I added more powdered sugar and then it wasn't raspberry enough so I added more extract and did a little uh, back and forth with that recipe but this is just regular vanilla buttercream recipe so now it's time to assemble the cake now I am not a professional cake baker or decorator or any of that and I definitely do not claim to be so this is a cardboard round that I'll set the cake layer on I always do have a little bit of sticking to this parchment paper for whatever reason so what I think I'll do is this do it this way try to work smarter not harder not too bad at all it is very moist all right so I'm gonna take my uh, raspberry buttercream filling and dollop it on top of the first layer all right gently place it on top all right I got all the edges cleaned up so now I'm gonna ice the outside with <laughs> Jeffrey's help no boo you cannot have any cake and see if I can keep from destroying it 
And at this point, I'm going to save some icing so that I can decorate um, the trim too. So I don't want to use all of my white icing. All right, I got most of it caked. I caked. I have most of it iced. I did not do a crumb layer. And I should have, so now I'm going to try and clean it up. All right, I got the icing as smooth as I could, being an amateur cake decorator. There are a couple spots that are a little messy, but what I plan to do with those spots is to put my decorations or um, trim, you know, trim icing over those to help conceal them. So, like I said, it's my grandpa's birthday. He's going to be 89 tomorrow. It's December, so it's a winter, winter birthday. Last year I made a blue and white cake with snowflakes and whatnot. So this year I'm going to attempt to make some sort of pine tree decorations and at the same time write happy birthday. So we'll see. So I'd like to put a tree here and then write happy Happy, I'm going to write happy 89th birthday, Grandpa, first. And I barely have any icing left, so hopefully this works out. Really? Josh Brown. 